This tutorial is going to cover how to connect Prepared to VATSIM. What is VATSIM? VATSIM is an online aviation network that allows real-life pilots and air traffic controllers to connect in a virtual environment. It supports multiple simulators such as Prepared, Microsoft Flight Sim, and X-Plane. VATSIM allows pilots and air traffic controllers to practice their aviation communication skills in a virtual and safe environment. So let's get to it. First, you'll want to start by going to the VATSIM website. You can get there by going to VATSIM.net. Once you create your account, you'll be on the dashboard screen. Follow the prompts on the website to get to the Learning Center. VATSIM requires that you go through the Learning Center to get familiar with what VATSIM is, proper communication techniques while connected to the network, and other skills as well. You do not have to be a real pilot or air traffic controller in order to use VATSIM. If you are a real pilot or air traffic controller, you can also integrate your license as well. This will give you new capabilities in VATSIM. You can do this by going to Pilot Training and adding your current rating. You can do this by going to Begin License Transfer Process. Your license will be reviewed along with supporting documentation and your license will be integrated into VATSIM. To connect to VATSIM, we will have to use a pilot client. For this, you can go to Resources, Pilot Clients. For this example, we're going to be using vPilot for Prepared. To install vPilot, you can go to the Downloads tab and download the latest stable version of vPilot. I found this guide helpful for getting the basic settings of vPilot and connecting to VATSIM through Prepared. After installing and running vPilot, you will be welcomed to this graphical user interface. To start using vPilot, you're going to have to go to your settings and set up the network. You will use your VATSIM ID and password, you can choose your name, and your home airport. For this, I put Kilo Hotel Echo Foxtrot for Manassas Regional Airport. Next, I like to go to my audio tab. This allows me to know what the audio input and output devices will be. For my input device, I'm using my current microphone, and my output device, I have my speakers. Optionally, you can disable or enable realistic ATC audio effects. The next important setting is setting the push to talk button. In this case, I am using the tilde button on my keyboard. This push to talk key will allow me to communicate with other pilots and traffic controllers in the simulator. There are other settings that you can edit, but once you're satisfied, you can go ahead and hit apply or hit OK. Next, we'll need to determine a location to start at. We'll want a location with an active air traffic controller. We can search for a location by going to map.vatsim.net. On here, I am going to activate some labels as well as the ATC or air traffic controller button to see where the active controllers are. I'm going to zoom in and it looks like the Atlanta airspace is pretty well covered. I can highlight over here and see which controllers are active. Now that we have a location determined, we can start up prepared. VPilot will also automatically detect that the simulator is running. First, we'll have to change our airport location. For this, I'm going to type in Kilo Alpha Tango Lima. When starting up VATSIM, we want to make sure that we're not on an active runway or taxiway as to not interrupt other traffic. Because of this, I'm going to choose a different parking spot. I will go for parking with a GA small ramp. It is also recommended that we disable aviation traffic within prepared. This will allow us to only see VATSIM networked aircraft. To do this, we're going to go to Options, Traffic, and reduce all of the aviation traffic densities to zero. Once you're done, you can hit OK. And of course, we want to make sure that we're in an appropriate aircraft. For this example, I'm going to be using a Mooney Bravo, but I'm going to use my call sign as a Piper Cherokee instead. Once we're satisfied with our settings, we can hit OK and load into Prepared. All right, now's the fun part. We're loaded into Prepared, we have vPilot running, which will connect us to VATSIM, and in the bottom right corner, I like to have the map open showing all of the other air traffic in the area. Now, to get connected, all we have to do is go to Connect and choose our settings. For this, my call sign is going to be November 905315, and you have to put in a type code. You can look up type codes online. For mine, I'm going to use a Piper Cherokee 28. So my type code is going to be PAPA 28 Alpha. With all of these settings set, I can go ahead and connect. Now, once I'm connected, I can actually see that there's another aircraft that just appeared in the area. 
Over here, we can see it looks like a bombardier jet. To listen in on what other people are saying, we're going to have to go to the appropriate comms. For this, I can see that the tower is active and it is on frequency 119.1. In the cockpit, I can zoom in to the comms panel and I can set my radio appropriately. On my primary flight display, you can see that my comms is in the backup channel and I can switch over to the main comms in which we should start to hear some audio. So I'm going to switch my comm frequency. At 1161 or on a 26 left left boy. Line up away at 1161. And now we can hear other traffic in the area. We heard someone just call over to the ATC and they were told to line up and wait. Additionally, now that I am connected fully to VATSIM's network, I should be able to find my aircraft in their map. For this, I'm going to search for November 905315. You can see I have no flight plan filed, but it does show my aircraft on the map. VPilot is a really helpful tool when working with VATSIM. It shows the different communications frequencies that I can access. I can activate mode C in my transponder or altitude reporting. And I can also identify or ident. All right, so let's try out VATSIM. Remember that our push to talk key is going to be the tilde button. So for this, I am at ramp nine and I have information mic. So I'm going to make a call to tower. I'm expecting to take off from runway 27 right. Check it nine three, correction track it nine five three one five. Cut out of class private airspace, maintain VFR out of below 3,500. The departure frequencies on this frequency, squawk 7213. 7213 in the box, 315. Cherokee 315, read back, correct. Let me know when you're ready. So I found that there's this helpful website that actually shows all of the dot codes if you go to vpilot resources. So I can actually set my transponder inside of vpilot itself. So there you go. That is how you get started with VATSIM and prepared. Uh, 95315, leaving class private airspace, you can resume my navigation, squawk 1200, frequency change approved. 1200, frequency change approved, have a good one, 305.